All right, here's Buzz and Eric Studios. This is where I make all my beeswax paintings. This is my beautiful workbench that my father-in-law built for me. It has a bunch of storage underneath. One of my favorite things about it is I started teaching workshops a couple years ago. And so I have each drawer has a, an encaustic workshop station. And when I'm finished with the workshop, then I just put it back in the drawer and it's gone. You can also see that I have a great love of plants. Love plants. Gotta have some bee art in the studio. So we're gonna walk over to my workstation here. So this little nook, this little corner is where it all happens. I stand when I paint and I like to have all my colors right in front of me. Here is my pancake griddle where I melt my encaustic paint. I heat it to about 180 degrees. Beeswax can be an irritant when heated, so you need to have a ventilation system and beeswax is actually toxic at 250. So you can see I have a greenhouse fan here that's venting it out through the roof. Um, here are a bunch of my brushes. I use sable brushes. You have to use natural bristled. I also use a lot of carving tools as well with encaustic. And here I have all my backup paints. My favorite suppliers are RNF Encaustics and Encausticos. Great thing is the paint never goes bad when I I'm done mixing a color and I can always scrape it off my palette and pour it on wax paper. And that's what all these are little chips. All these colors are, are um, paint I mixed some 10 years ago, but they're still good. I just gotta throw them on the griddle and melt them. Um, and that's what all these are too, color chips. And then probably the most important tool I have here is my heat gun. I use a Makita heat gun. I also started using a embossing gun. It's, it's lighter, but it, I don't have as much control with the temperature or the speed. And then I got my encaustic iron. So yeah, there's the space. And each night I get to watch a beautiful sunset at the studio. So, all right. There it is. Buzz and Art Studios. Hello everyone. Welcome to Buzz and Art Studios here in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Uh, my name is Jesse Fritch and I am an encaustic artist. Uh, encaustic is beeswax paintings. Um, and I have been painting with encaustic for 16 years. And today I thought I'd kind of show you a little bit of my process and give you a little tour of my studio. Um, I am part of the Hidden Studios uh, steering committee. Uh, my art studio is not part of the tour um, because it's too far out, but I do, I am um, a guest artist um, at many of the studios in central Wisconsin. So what I'm doing today is I'm actually just a couple of months ago, I started, I discovered casein paint. Uh, casein paint is an ancient painting method, just like encaustic. Uh, it's a milk-based paint. Um, it's actually what cave paintings were painted with, um, and it's very archival. And I began painting with encaustic because I was fascinated with um, ancient Egyptian funeral portraits that were 2,000 years old and they found in the tombs, and these beeswax paintings were perfectly preserved. And I, when I was doing some re research, I discovered that some of the uh, Fayum funeral portraits were actually underpainted with casein paint and I didn't know much about casein and actually um, 
uh, Jack Richardson, which is in Kimberly, Wisconsin, they actually make the casein paint. So I purchased a bunch of casein. Um, it's, it's similar to encaustic in the sense that it, it dries really fast. Um, within a couple of minutes, the paint will, will dry up. And so just the past couple of months, I've been playing with casein and using it as an underpainting. So this is a piece that I'm working on for the tour. It's some black eyed Susans and there's gonna be a little honey bee that's flying up there. So I'm gonna do some, finish this piece with the casein the underpainting and then I'll be coating it with um, encaustic medium and then I'll be painting with encaustic. So you guys will get a little sneak peek of uh, this process. everyone it is day two of working on this encaustic painting here so right now I am in the studio and I have my griddle is about 183 degrees and I have melted my beeswax pigments and again the paint is made up of pharmaceutical grade beeswax um, powdered pigment in Damar resin, which is a tree sap, and you can see how quickly it melts. In my tins here, this is encaustic medium, which is pharmaceutical grade beeswax and Damar resin. Um, I also always have a little dish of white, and then I have in here is slick wax, which is petroleum based wax that I use to clean my palette and my brushes. I also have two thermometers on this griddle. I have a surface thermometer and I also have a digital thermometer so I know what my temperatures are at all times. Because again, beeswax is toxic if you overheat it. Um, so I also do have an alarm on my uh, griddle as well. So if it gets too hot, an alarm will go off. But I can smell the wax. The, the smell becomes a little more like acidic um, as um, the wax gets hotter and hotter and hotter. So we're gonna we're gonna start painting here. Typically, I actually just bought some new brushes. Um, so we're gonna and I like to use um, sable. So okay, here we go. Okay, 
guys, we are in the final stages of this encaustic painting. So all the beeswax paint has been applied. And now I have to fuse, which is the most important part of encaustic because the word encaustic comes from the Greek word encaustikos, which means to burn in, which means to fuse each layer of wax to the layer of wax beneath it. So here we go. I like to use my Makita heat gun to do um, more detailed fuses. So here we go. up of some of the texture here. Okay guys, and it's a hot one in the studio. I don't have my air conditioning on and it's about 80 degrees today, which means it's about 86 degrees in my studio right now. So if I look sweaty, it's because I am. So, okay guys. Well, thanks for checking out the hit virtual Hidden Studios art tour. Um, yeah, have a great day, guys. Bye.